Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Survival, where today we will be completing this top area here. Uh, I got a bunch of uh, spruce uh, wood leaves, oak, uh, birch, some wool, because we are going to be making this part a market. That's I got more snow because we're going to add two more buildings in, and that's just leftover stone. I got to fix a couple mountains on the outside. But there's only days left until the season is over. And as much as, as stuff there is to do, I unfortunately just don't have the time. So I'm going to really have to go super quick on this. We are two hours into this. This roof looks weird from the top, but it, trust me, it looks great on the inside. Um, two hours for this one building. And it's not even done. Like I have a whole chunk over here. That's a slab. But the inside, though, looks fantastic. So that's why I have the two-toned the two -toned roof up there. We're going to add uh, some fences in that little part there. And I still need to add a uh, one whole section to the roof. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. Cause, and I still have a, a whole other building to, that I have to be completing. But the outside is looking fantastic. Just imagine that other part is complete. I'll have to dig down and complete the other part. But so far, this one market building is looking pretty good. I have completed both buildings. So this one is just a lot simpler and a lot smaller. Not as much space in this one because uh, I don't have as much room in this back corner. But so this is all the room you're going to get in here. I can put a few little market stalls in, in this little area. It won't be the biggest thing. But the other building is a lot bigger. So I will have little tents and stuff out here as, as you're walking along the path. And you can go in this building here. And this building has a lot more room to it. So, which is pretty nice. The second floor, I have a staircase here just in the corner. And uh, I'm going to leave that hole there in the middle just, just for uh, design. Kind of matches the ceiling a bit too. But this is what the building's look like, looking like. So let's start working on the outside. So uh, I've been to a couple of markets before. And they usually have a couple buildings. And then the outside is just these little tents here. So I got a little tent with uh, a counter there. I have this tent over here. I'll put some stuff underneath. And then I have even more, like a little group of tents. Uh, and then I have these little, I don't know what these are called. Um, stands, I guess we can call them. I got a few stands over here I can put stuff in. I'm going to put some trees around the outside. It'll match the bottom section too. I'll add a few benches, some street lights. Now they got the trees and the lamps all around. Let's start adding in some con produce. Well, this one, this one I want to be sort of uh, selling different different food, and I want one on top. Can I? There we go. So this one's gonna sell a bunch of food and produce and stuff. So I got. Quite a few things. I'm going to add item frames on the barrels. And just adding this, these few clumps of barrels around. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm doing this all wrong. I should have the barrels going up. Because that makes sense. That would make sense. we got to make this a little bit more realistic here. <laughs> but the string's in the way. So you got some wheat, apples, uh, melon. So it's just going to be one booth. The other booths I can have selling like redstone and seeds, saplings, uh, some cookies, like a bakery section or a bakery booth. <laughs> just, uh, just a lot of stuff we can fill this area and make it more whole. So, you know, we can leave. No, we can't. Has to look realistic. There you go. So now I got some item frames. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these item frames around on the barrels to make it 
seem like that's what's in the actual barrel itself. So when they open it up, they can just, you know, take whatever, whatever's out. So we'll do uh, carrots there. We got some wheat, melon, and apple, and then we'll do potatoes in that one. And this is one little, little stall. I, I'm not gonna, I wanted to put something else in, in this area, actually all around the base, but unfortunately I couldn't, which I wanted to add like, um, those armor stands and I was like a, a carved pumpkin on it. So it's kind of like people kind of, unfortunately I, uh, I just don't have all the materials to do all that around the base. So let me show you around what we got. So we have right here, sword, arrow, and some bows. We got a little bit of a weapons booth. Over here we got crystals, because there's always someone wanting to sell you crystals and stuff. That's our lovely produce booth. Over here is the one booth that always sells you good stuff, but they never clean it. So we got someone selling glowstone, but it's covered in dust. <laughs> That's what I always find. Some booth is always covered in dust when you walk by and no one ever wants to go there. Over here, we got some seeds. We're gonna sell some seeds. Uh, and then this, I th I'm gonna put wood over here. I'm gonna clean this area up, but this will be like a wood booth. I put uh, some wood in the here. I even filled that back area of the trees too to fill the corner. But this is where we can sell our spruce wood. So at this booth uh, right here. Again, I wanted to add like people walking up and down to fill the area, but I, I just don't have the time. Going to the interiors now of the bigger building, I got some books, someone's selling books. We got some potions, just an empty booth here. Uh, Cause there's always someone empty. We got redstone at that booth there. And right here, I've got some quartz going up the stairs. I made it so it's kind of like a pathway directly to the stairs. We got some wool in this corner. We got some tools in that corner. We have fireworks in the back corner over here. So let's fly or glide over to the second building. Now the second building, I was actually able to fit more than I thought we could. So this is where we got someone selling cookies over here. We got someone selling tracks over there, railroad tracks. We got saplings over here. Hey, what happened to my oak sapling? Can saplings disappear from flower pots? I swear I put an oak sapling there. Uh, and then we got some plants and the weird plant that no one knows if it's actually gonna bloom or not. But yeah, this place is looking pretty good. I just gotta clean up that little pile. But I'm gonna call an episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.